episode 7 of the Green Pirate, where we'll be talking about bioheating. This week, Dr. Alder is a bit tied up, so we won't be talking to him. Instead, we'll be talking to Bill Bolch, the owner of New England Biodiesel. So, here is Bill Bolch to tell us about biodiesel and bioheating. Ahoy there, who be you? Bill Balch from New England Biodiesel Equipment and Supplies of Spencer, Massachusetts. Found on the internet at www.newenglandbiodiesel.net. Tell me, what is bioheating? Bioheat, that's where you take uh, a fuel made from vegetable oil, methanol and lye, and you use it in your home heating system instead of the regular uh, petrochemicals. How does that reduce global warming? Well, if you take a petrochemical, which is which is mined from the earth, and burn it, you, you release carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. If you take biodiesel, which is which is carbon neutral, meaning you take the carbon out of the carbon dioxide out of the atmosphere, grow a soybean, press the soybean, cook with it, reprocess it into biodiesel, propel a vehicle down the road. The exhaust that comes out of that vehicle is the same carbon dioxide that it took to grow the original plant. So it's hence carbon neutral. Go down there and Much better for our environment to take this stuff out of the dinosaur juice out of the ground right. and putting it up in the atmosphere. Yar, so how would it heat a house? You put it right in the fuel tank. As is? As is. Maybe a couple adjustments on the uh, nozzle size or something like that, but that's about it. Be changing the fuel tank. No, same fuel tank, same everything. The infrastructure is already in place. Just install the fuel and go to town. How much does this bioheating cost? Production for me is about 70 cents per gallon. So you have a substantial savings too. How does that compete with oil costs? Well, oil, oil this season is running around 271 a gallon, so I, I, I guess you'd save two dollars and one cent for every gallon you burn. Well, thank you, Bill. Until next time, may your home be warm and the world be cool.